In this video, I will consider one numerical on source transformation. For the circuit shown below, find potential between M and N using source transformation. This is the given circuit. We are supposed to find the voltage between M and N, that is potential between M and N using source transformation. So this is the given circuit. So we are supposed to apply only source transformation to find the voltage between M and N terminal. So here we have a current source of 1 amp in series with that there is a 1 ohm register. Here we can see 5 ohm register is in series with voltage source. I will try to convert 5 volt source and 5 ohm register which are in series into a current source. That is I will convert this part the voltage source into current source. That is we know that to convert this into current source we are supposed to apply I is equal to V by R that is ohms law. So V is here 5 and the register value is 5. The magnitude of current source is 1 amp. So now we are supposed to use 1 amp current source and this 5 ohm regi register is connected in parallel with 1 amp current source. Let me transfer this into a current source. So we have a current source magnitude is 1 amp that is magnitude of this is 1 amp. Here this end is positive this end is negative. So we supposed to take head end at positive tail end at negative. So this 5 ohm register should be connected in parallel with this. Connect that same 5 ohm register in parallel with this. This is 5 ohm. Now rest of the circuit will be same. So here we can see that if the register is in series with the current source then that register has no value. We can ignore this register. So we can connect only 1 amp current source. So here I will ignore this 1 ohm register. If any register is connected in series with current source we can ignore that register. So now let me connect a current source of magnitude 1 amp. So here this will be connected as it is. This is plus minus 10 volt and here we have 2 ohm register. This is M and this is N. Now further simplify this circuit. So here we can see that 2 1 amp register current sources are parallel and are in same direction. So I can replace these two current source by single current source of magnitude 2 amp. These two current source magnitude should be added because the direction is same. So now let me simplify this further. I can redraw this circuit as this is the current source. Both are having same direction. The magnitude is 2 amp. So this 5 ohm is connected as it is in parallel with 2 amp. This is 5 ohm and here we have 10 volt and here we have 2 ohm. So this terminal is M and here we have N. So now further here we can see that a current source is in parallel with register. I will convert this current source into voltage source. That is I will convert this current source and register into a voltage source. That is we know that V is equal to IR. So here V is equal to I. I is 2 amp. That is 2 into register value is 5 which is 10 volt. The magnitude of the voltage source will be 10 volt. So let me draw the 10 volt. So here head end of the arrow is positive. Tail end is negative. So here its magnitude is 10 volt. So this register should be connected in series with the voltage source. That is 5 ohm. So now here I will connect this voltage source as it is and there is a 2 ohm register will be connected as it is. This is plus minus magnitude of this is 10 volt and here it is M and here it is N. So now in this circuit we can observe that M and N terminals are open. The current in this circuit is 0 that is current in this loop is current I is equal to 0. So when current is 0, voltage across 5 ohm register is 0 
as well voltage across two ohm register is zero so it is as good as there is no registers so it is of only two voltage sources now look at the magnitude of voltage sources it is minus plus it is plus minus so the difference we supposed to take the difference so therefore now i can write the potential difference between m and n that is v m n will be equal to it is minus 10 we should go in this direction start from m and reach n that is here the voltage source is minus 10 here we have plus 10 plus 10 therefore the voltage between m and n is 0 volts this is the potential between given circuit thank you for watching